Hello, hello, Jeff Elvin here with Balan Brands, and today I'd like to give a little tip on how to use Elementor Forms. Now, using Elementor Forms is actually pretty simple. There's a widget right here that uh, is built in. I can just click on or start to type in form. I can drag that over and uh, do details on my particular form. But what happens is, is that there's really no central place to access a list of the forms and technically we can kind of get to them by uh, going into appearance and settings and look at some different things but we're not able to always identify it let's say for i'll just give you an example let's say we want to add captcha to a form or now we're going to start to require last name whereas before we didn't require last name well if i just simply keep building forms every time i build a page and i want a form on the page I'm going to have a lot of different places to update forms, but I don't necessarily have a place to get a list of all the forms that are on my site. So between those two items, I kind of have a little bit of a, a management problem. Okay. So I want to give you an example of what we're talking about there. If we're in the actual admin and we go under Elementor, I see you know, a lot of different options here. One of the things I can see is submissions. Okay, when I go to submissions, this gives me all of the submissions from a particular website form. Now on this website, it's just a demo site, so we didn't have any forms, but let me go ahead and go into one so I can show you. This is our main Balan Brands website. Load that up here. And then if I go into Elementor submissions, well now I can see uh, a list of all the different uh, forms. Okay. Now you'll see we named ours a particular name. So we have some that have required comments and we have some that are unrequired comments. So we kept it pretty straightforward. We have basically just two separate forms, but this is, there's no list of forms that I can go look to say, to see that in Elementor, in my system, I've got, you know, these five forms. So I have to kind of go here, see which forms are being used. Then I can click on the form, which will take me to a page to edit the form. So it's a little, I don't know, it's a little clunky in my opinion. So one of the things we recommend doing so that we can avoid having too many different forms or not really knowing where to update those forms is to actually create a single form and then use that as a global widget. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you here today. So um, I'm gonna show you how to create the global widget and explain that a little bit further as I go. So let's say I'm here on my about page, got a little details about us and I wanna go ahead and uh, use a form on this page as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag over the form all right, so now I've got name, email, and a message. So maybe that's fine. Maybe that's all you need. Everything's great. Um, I don't have to require it or, you know, don't make any changes. That's fine too. But maybe you find out later that, okay, now I've got a new CRM that uses first name and last name as two separate fields. So I want to collect them as two separate fields so that when I export the data, I mean, there's lots of different reasons why we want to maybe want to update a form. Maybe I want to add phone number. I'm not getting enough people responding to my email, so now I want to add a phone number. Well, if I use the form here, and then I'm also on the website, and let's like, let me uh, pull up an example here. So I pull back up the website, and I'm like, okay, great. You know, here's some information. Maybe I want a contact form right here, just to you know call attention to it. Okay, so I've got that. Uh, or maybe I have a form down in the footer that shows up on every page. Well, that's easy, right? Just one form every page that's on the template. Uh, but maybe when I go to the location section, I want to uh, build in a little bit of a form when I click through to a particular page and I'm like, oh, this is great. You know, click here to fill out my form, right? Something like that. So there's lots of reasons I might just have forms in different places, lead capture or just a you know, good instance to have a form. But if I do that, like I said, and I just go ahead and create a new form every single time by using that form widget right here and just dragging that over, then I'm essentially recreating a form every single time. Okay. Another thing that happens is a lot of times we don't label our form name so, or change the form name. So we don't necessarily know what page because uh, one instinct would be like, okay, let's call it the about page form. So now we know it's there. Well, you could do that. You got an about page form. And then when you use it on, we create a new form on the contact page. We can have a contact page form. When we create a new form on you know, the services page, we can have a services form. We could do that. Right, but remember, we don't actually have a list anywhere in the admin to see all the different forms that we actually created. So I can name them all I want, but I don't necessarily know which ones exist after I've created the page without literally clicking through every page to find it. So 
a little bit of a flaw in my opinion on, you know, like kind of how to manage the um, Elementor stuff. We do provide the feedback to Elementor and see if they will, you know, maybe write something like that in. Um, but again, instead of just having the submissions, it'd be nice maybe to have forms, but we don't have that. We just have submissions so we can only see what forms are being used by which forms are, um, you know, in the submissions list. Okay, so back to my point here. What we're doing is we're creating a form. Let's say this form's fine. I don't have to make any specific details for this particular uh, video. But all I'm gonna do now is I wanna create it as a global widget. So that way when I edit it and update it and anywhere else I use it, it'll do the same updates across the board. So once I have my form in here, I'm gonna go ahead and right click here on the pencil icon and I'm going to select save as global. Now when I do that, that's gonna give me a chance to give it an actual name. So in this case, I would put maybe like site-wide contact form or um, you know basic contact form or something like that. I don't wanna just say contact form because you'll see if we did have a reason to make multiple forms, um, how that's gonna get confusing in a moment. But we wanna say something like you know global contact form or main contact form, whatever we want to call that, just something that kind of tells us it's the one that we use everywhere, or in most cases. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Save. Okay, so now what that does is it puts it over here in the global section. So instead of Abby adding a new form over here by just going into Form and dragging over this Form option, I would actually go to Global and use that Form option, okay? Now by doing so, it creates this little, uh, you'll see like a little yellow line now around it. That kind of indicates to us, in case you didn't already know that was the case, that it, this is a form that's being updated. It's a global widget. So you notice the little yellow um, icons there. So that's a global widget, okay? So now I'm gonna get out of this page. I didn't, I didn't actually save this, which is fine. I don't need to save it. Um, I'm gonna go back to the website and I'm go, gonna go to another page and pull in the form because you'll see how this plays out. So let's say I go to locations and I'm gonna just pull up a particular location. I'm gonna go ahead and edit the show. Oh, sorry, wrong, uh, wrong button here. I'm gonna edit with Elementor. Go back here. Okay, edit with Elementor. Oh, now I'm on the wrong page again. Sorry, let me catch back up here. All right, so edit with Elementor. All right, so we load this up and we're gonna have our page here all built in and now I wanna go ahead and just add a form, anywhere I wanna add it, right? Now again, if I go to forms here and just pull that over, it's creating a new form. We don't want that. We wanna to go to global and we wanna click main contact form and we wanna go ahead and drop that in. Okay, now if you'll notice, I can't make any changes to this right here by default, like all my little form fields and all that stuff are gone. So I have the option to edit a global widget or I can unlink it from global. So maybe I do want to make just a small tweak and only on this one page. That's okay. I can actually click unlink and it will make it the same form that's just like the global. So it makes a copy of it basically and lets me edit it from here. But in this case, I want to edit the global widget. Okay, so I go ahead and click edit and now all these controls are, if I edit it here and I hit update, it's gonna edit it also on all the other pages as well. Okay, so just to kind of follow along one more time, I'll, I'll kind of start from the beginning. So when we create forms using Elementor, if we just use the simple widgets that Elementor provides, every time we drag over a new widget, a form widget, it's creating a separate form, even if it's all the same form fields we're using and everything else. In doing so, we're creating possibly a lot of work for us in the future if we ever need to make a change because we don't have a specific list of forms in Elementor to know all the different instances in which we may uh, come across. For example, we uh, needed to add CAPTCHA to one of our forms because we were getting, well, really to all of our forms because we started getting a lot of spam form submissions. So we went ahead and did that we still got spam form submissions. Oh, well, there was actually another form that we forgot about. So now we need to edit that one and add CAPTCHA to that one. So we did that, still getting uh, spam form submissions. Okay, great. It's because now we didn't, there was another form. So we actually ended up having like six or seven forms, but we, we, we could have just done it six or seven times. That's a lot of work anyway, but we didn't even know those forms were being targeted or being used because they didn't show up anywhere in a particular list. So again, back to the point is that what we wanna do here is create a, a global widget. We wanna create a form, save it as a global widget, and then use that form, not just the standard 
um, widget form, but the actual global widget form on all of our pages. So that way, if we're making any edits or updates, we only have to make it in the one spot. So just our little tip, uh, whether you're a developer, whether you're managing your own website, um, this is just another little helpful tip that uh, you know should should make things a little more simple moving forward. If you have any questions on this or anything else Elementor related or WordPress websites, by all means, you can reach out to us at team at balanbrands.com.